<coughs> Hi guys. Good evening. Thanks for uh, joining us tonight. Okay, so let me uh, start with, uh, of course, let's let me go back to my post earlier. I, I already had a few stocks there, but um, before I greet everyone, let me just capture that first. So these are the stocks we already share. Put it in a notepad. There. <clears throat> and uh, let us see. Joseph, good evening. AXLM, MagTech, URC, and JFC. There you have it. AXLM, MagTech, URC. Okay. Uh, Maying Gabi, and I, please send to SEC BBDO. Ali, SMPH, GTCAP. Okay, very good. Good PMM from Homer. Please look at Dito. Uh, FGN is already there. Uh, MBT. Yeah, MBT. Okay, Noli. GFC, ACPH. Okay. Uh, ICT, check. It's already there. Dito is already there. Want your insights with SSI? Do na TF na ko. Do nag take profit na ko. Okay. Wow, good job to you. Wakad do. SSI. Okay. So, I think we already have uh, enough uh, to start with. Definitely, we'll uh, make sure to finish everything by tonight. So, tomorrow, there's no... Um, there's no market tomorrow. It's Labor Day, May 1st. Um, I understand it's uh, going to be a vacation holiday for everyone. But let's uh, continue the daily rigor and uh, let's study the market and how it performed today. So let me set up our tools first. Nice. Hold on, let me just go to my chart. Let me know if the audio is okay or it's not good so I can adjust it. <clears throat> let me see PSEI is... Um, so this is a, a good story for PSEI because um, with the dip, it, it was just a slight dip, but they recovered right away. So I would assume many of our stocks also have uh, started to show some improvement in terms of price and movement. So I feel that we, we might continue to move up into a much higher high this time. Because when it dipped, it's, you know, it's a lower or higher low. So that means we might uh, exceed. There's a big chance that if we break the... Uh, resistance level uh, right here at the moment uh, we might see some more movements to the upside okay so how does our uh, APL let's start with APL 24 trades <clears throat> this is a doji guys and uh, currently this is your resistance it's actually sitting at the resistance level so um, we might go back and revisit your MA20 area or around this level uh, for this stock. I feel that it might take some time. Oh, volume is starting to pick up, but only 24 trades here. So very uh, unstable yet, right? So even though you see spikes in volume, it's, it's a secondary stock that means... Uh, it might, might take some time before it really kicks off. CPG. CPG. Okay, nice bounce for CPG. Actually, this is already the fourth day where um, it is uh, starting to manifest good uh, bullish actions there. So it's starting to, uh, 
you know, cross that MA20 line, and I feel that we might even have more movements to the upside in the coming days. I still would like to plot it at the 0.35 level for our support because we can never tell. Uh, there will be days it might continue to move sideways and it will give you a chance at this area. So if you want to enter, just be a little more conservative and enter near your support. Could be your exact support line or uh, a little higher than that would be, uh, I think, okay. okay. Right from here to the 0.3547, if the, um, you know, when you place the order, if it's allowing you to enter at that exact amount, then oh, good. Green. <clears throat> Green is uh, now giving us some uh, signs um, of, you know, some bearish signal here. And uh, it's starting to get inside the uh, Bollinger Band. I mean, your RSI is starting to dip. So where did we plot this resistance? It's just sitting at the uh, resistance level, actually. That's the resistance that we have because uh, I see this used to be uh, your resistance, right? This used to be your support. It broke that area and then we might uh, be testing that again. So let us see. Uh, could be two things, right? It's possible that it's just trying to establish a support in this level or it will. if it will continue to break that, then it's a, we can say it's just a slight overshoot. Uh, to the upside, but actually it's still a resistance level and it's um, resting, okay? So be, be observant um, on Monday, yeah, on Monday. So if a price starts higher than 1.30 moves up, then this area could already be your support level. Otherwise, it will move downwards. So how does it look like on our weekly chart? <clears throat> Actually, on a weekly chart, this is where your this is where your um, resistance is. So we might even have to move that. But we also have here, so there could be two areas, right? It's hard to tell because almost every line is a resistance and a support. It's just that there was a massive dip here, badly uh, beaten stock here, and starting to recover. Just be extra careful around this level. Okay, I, I'd like to plot that because uh, you also have here. Okay, and uh, when it goes higher, it could also challenge this. Let's remove this first because this was from way, way back. Okay, so these are the areas to uh, check, right? Because of this. So that's our re first level of resistance. If that gets broken, your next resistance would be here, around 160 area. VLL. VLL on a weekly chart, that is a very promising movement there, starting to move up. And uh, we might even break that. So this is a weekly chart, at least you have a bigger picture before we uh, deep dive into uh, the daily. So this is how it looks like. It could be an uh, ascending triangle on a weekly chart. So let's see how. <clears throat> it's just the same, right? We've plotted it correctly. That is your resistance area. So really interesting. What's interesting here is your constricted Bollinger Band before is starting to open up. We're triggering the upper Bollinger Band and it might give us some bullish okay so this is an interesting uh, formation it might give us bullish actions in the coming days the um, sentiment is to the upside you also have uh, foreign foreign buying okay so where could we possibly uh, put our um, profit taking uh, area I feel that we might even do that we might reach this level so uh, I love this kind of uh, uh, pattern now, put this in your watch list and uh, find your entry because I feel that this might rally to the upside. Also, your RSI is just within the mid-range, 50-ish area, and so you still have enough room to move up. Okay, VLL, FGEN. <clears throat> 
F gen. Okay, F gen also starting to trigger, um, but you are sitting at the uh, resistance level at the moment. So still the same uh, method or yeah thought process. If it breaks that uh, 19 level and most of the action happens above that line, then it might establish a brand new support when it moves higher. Wow. Oh, this is annual. So it might do this again, right? When it moves higher, it might revisit that and create a brand new support. But um, very um, interesting information. Today's candlestick is a bullish, divert, bullish engulfing engulfing candlestick okay it ended much higher and uh, it's green Mac Mac here uh, is not yet ready to take off but you're just within the uh, you know very near your uh, support level so 4.91 is still our support area okay so let's see if that is sustained up until the 4. Point, around 4.70 uh, so this is your support level okay so it's an area so it could be slightly lower which is right on top of your MA20 line 4.70 use that as our support and just find your you know entry there overall you have a big potential for this stock if you're talking about long term just study the fundamentals okay uh, take the time to uh, really find out the the health of their financial, uh, yeah, of their finances and uh, their future projects, and uh, try to also link it to the possible impact of uh, the pandemic or COVID-19 into their operations. So, are they badly affected, or are they able to continue their business despite uh, the situation? Because I understand, for instance. <clears throat> There, there could be an impact in the revenue, but there are some businesses that are still ongoing, right? Like for example, you still have Jollibee, from what I know, because I see big pictures in uh, Facebook. They're able to order and uh, probably drive to. Uh, personally, I haven't really explored uh, going out. Haven't gotten outside of my home for two months almost now. So, so these are businesses that are. Uh, striving to uh, striving to you know uh, cope but there are really businesses that they're closed totally I don't know uh, and uh, see how this for instance uh, how did it affect Macroasia Corporation Sun I think telco telco companies right now are you know, are, are able to survive because a lot of us are, are at home. Definitely, we need connections. For instance, um, our company had to procure a lot of modems, a lot of, uh, yeah, modems, internet, uh, because we're now on a work from home and the company provided uh, the modems for them if they don't have uh, personal internet. And if uh, they have their personal, or we have our personal internet, then we were just given, we are given a subsidy, uh, an allowance uh, to pay for our monthly internet bill. So we're highly dependent on being connected online and tell Globe, I think this is the period that they will really still survive. Okay, first sun. Uh, sun is also starting to move uh, up slowly, very slowly, right? But uh, the movement is to the upside. Now, uh, we are going to plot this area as your possible resistance, which is very near. So try to observe um, the moment it reaches that level, see if there is, again, a weakness. It might just uh, move within the range as well. But slowly, you know, incremental increase. Uh, is uh, observed in this kind of uh, movement uh, based on the pattern that we see here. I'd like us to, yeah, let's use this. Yes, there, an ascending uh, triangle as well. Uh, each time it touches this level, so when it dips, uh, you'd you try to also observe that when it dips, it just respects 
uh, this line moving um, you know uptrend so if that's an uptrend then of course it has to move uh, in that direction as well how's everyone so far so the last one I have is SSI and that is from uh -huh. who was the last one there from Wakato ICT mag okay so let's put in ICT and Wilcon and mag of uh, mag is already there this is from Jomio ATN from Wakato uh, Maria hi Miss JD tell please okay tell uh, Miralco AC from Roy uh, AC okay, let's just put it there how are you hope you feel okay Miss JD from Maria yes definitely I love the idea of working from home uh, it allowed me to be very consistent uh, at, at this uh, every day. I'm able to um, really uh, uh, catch up with you guys, and uh, I am. I hope you know some people may be badly affected in, in this situation, but so far um, we're just trying to be productive and uh, we're trying to learn a new skill while being at home. So thank you guys for joining me. I hope. Um, this is also making progress in your uh, journey. Alright, uh, Clarice Tamayo, SPC, VLLB, BDO, SPC, and uh, BDO. <coughs> uh, good evening, madam. Wat watching from Dubai, from Mads Madrona. Hi. Thank you for joining us. Uh, I hope you also subscribe, guys, and hit the like button if you're happy with what we're doing. And if you want to join this community, just hit the subscribe. And after you subscribe, there's a bell button beside it. Go ahead and click that as well so you are notified each time we are going live. Uh, Lee Cup wants green. Done with green. So let's talk about tugs. And now for you. Okay. So let's continue. Okay. Oh, hold on, hold on. I have my friend here, Travel Bug. Guys, uh, this is um, really. She is my my close friend. I hope you can also support her channel. She's trying to build a channel as well here in YouTube. If you can visit her channel and hit that subscribe, so she will be very happy, and she can also grow. Uh, I'm telling you, she. She will give us a lot of good content as well. She likes to travel, so most likely after this, um, you'll see more of her um, traveling everywhere in the Philippines and out of the country. Yes? Travel bug, guys. Okay, let me continue. So we are now done with Sun. So next is AXLM MagTech. Okay, AXLM. Okay, guys, this is sign of weakness, right? Second day. So the first day was already a uh, first sign. It was uh, uh, confirmed today. So there's a big chance that it will go back here and uh, test this area. Used to be your resistance here. But when it dips, and another thing to take note of, this is a gap up. It will fill that gap eventually. And I'm thinking it is happening soon. And it might do something like this, okay? Might revisit and uh, move up. So, if you're interested to get in, don't get in yet. I feel that it will revisit around 2.67 area. Mag. <clears throat> okay, Mag. I don't like the idea that it's below the um, MA20 line, but it's it seems like this is trying to establish a, a support in this range. So, uh, let me just plot a support in this area and just uh, take a look see if uh, it'll give us a bounce in this level hopefully if you know if, if it bounces then all good you already have entered right at the support level however if it negates our in analysis and it goes down lower than that be be prepared before you even post your order for buy uh, check your limits up to which point how many percent um, 
negative are you able to tolerate and then follow that okay so for now I see 2.56 is your uh, support area for Meg tech tech okay <clears throat> um, interesting This is our resistance. That's our resistance because, yeah, because of this, first of all. Also, some consolidation that happened here. It's not exactly on that line, but definitely uh, very near that. So we're also starting to move up there, but I... I don't feel good, I, although I see uh, buying happening right here, but um, volume is starting to decline, you know. So I want you, I want you to observe if it touches this level, which is your resistance area. I want you to take a look at how your um, RSI is performing. If you see something like this consistently on a decline, and it moves up, possibly in this area. I would have to say um, be extra careful because when price is at the same level in the resistance area and your momentum is starting to die down, chances are it will go down. Okay, we don't know though how deep it would uh, reach or get, but maybe it will challenge your 8.15 area first, and uh, when that gets broken, then we touch base again and see, you know, where will it go next. So. This range would be your uh, critical areas. URC. Okay, URC. Oh, bonds. So, you know, sometimes I've been planning to enter URC, and then the other day I, I forgot to enter, and I know I. <laughs> I tried to look for another stock. That's what happened. And I was able to get in BDO. BDO, later I'll talk about BDO. Was it even requested? Yeah, it is. Here. But really, oh, the main story for URC is it is now moving to the upside and it is re 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 respecting your MA20 line. And um, good job. I don't know, was it Maria? Maria had was the one who requested this. I think she's in this for, <clears throat> I'm not sure, long term. Who even requested this? I forgot. Anyway, um, we've consistently monitored this stock and uh, I think it is moving in the direction where we want it to be. Yeah, some more bullish movements for this stock in the coming days. Sayang. I really wanted to get in here because I want to get the dividend. But it's not yet too late. X date is May 27th. That means I have to make sure that by May 27th, I should have, before May 27th, I should have a, a good entry for this stock. I really wanted to get in 118. 118.119 118, 119, around that. Okay. Good job. Good job to those who were able to get in, especially here. Significant increase in the price, right? Okay, but let me move forward to Sec B. <clears throat> Sec B is still moving sideways, guys. Um, no volume yet. See this? But the uh, I don't think um, people are still, you know, going to sell and uh, break this uh, support level because it has been already strengthened for a long time. And I don't think they will sell some more, but I'd like to plot 101 as our uh, support area. And another thing to take note of, while well, we move sideways at the moment, okay, so this is sideways. Look at your RSI. It's building a momentum. That's something you need to pay attention to. That means any moment from now, just one, one major green day and then it will trigger all the movements to the upside it's just waiting for that one day okay <clears throat> 101.31 okay 
Next is BDO. Okay, BDO so far is now giving us some uh, good movements, right? I entered here around 102. Around, I think this was the day when I entered it. So I entered around 102 here. Now it dipped a little bit and um, I see some more uh, bullish actions. Uh, this could be a trigger now to start moving to the upside. Although, look at this. We're very near your MA20 line, so I hope we are able to break that. Uh, nevertheless, uh, this stock has also um, declined significantly from 160 to 101. So that is, um, what, almost 50%, right? Actually, yeah, 50 even uh, dropped by 50% on this day, right? March 19th. And then we managed to start moving to the upside. So it's just a matter of days, I would assume, especially when we're already going to go back to the new normal. I know uh, May 15th. And some areas right now are already um, open to, you know, they, they can already go out. And um, that would mean BDO can already start, uh, you know, operations. And, uh, and it's just a matter of days when uh, this stock is just going to move up. So this is a perfect time, guys, perfect time uh, to start accumulating. And I'm not sure, um, COVID-19 update. Are we starting to um, COVID-19 do you call that curve we want to flatten the curve so what we want to achieve right now is that we need to have lower cases uh, recorded um, in in the next few days and we can say it's already uh, improving okay let me just I will wait for it to pull up, but um, I just want to uh, link link it to whatever uh, the situation is right now, okay? Because if we are going to uh, be out of this state, oh, I don't know what COVID nineteen. Where do I go? Uh, COVID nineteen uh, update. Is it in Star Philippine Star? Where do you guys go to check the COVID-19 update? Here. Let's try this. Live update. Okay. Later. All right. In the meantime, yeah. Uh, we have we have started to move up in uh, BDO and then I feel that we will really have uh, some more bullish actions for this stock and uh, one important uh, decision maker here is uh, if it continues to break the MA20 line and we start to move higher or above the MA20 line that's a good trigger we might see some more actions there to the upside Ellie <clears throat> Ali started to, you know, it crossed the uh, MA20 line, so that's a good sign. We might have more actions to the upside as well for Ali. And let's plot this area as your next resistance, 34.13. Okay, volume is also picking up, as you notice here, moving up. So that means people uh, find this stock attractive uh, uh, in the past three days. This, on the other hand, you see this? Uh, I've mentioned this uh, multiple times. This is a doji. And when that comes out near your support area, that would already trigger a possible change in direction in the coming days. And it's it's manifesting right away. Okay. Uh, SMPH. SMPH. Okay. Nice movement as well. Although this is also a form of a doji. But I feel that 
this stock might give you a chance at the MA20 area, which is very near where it is at right now. Um, 29.63. Uh, I did that, put it exactly in this line because I see uh, some lines here. Yeah, here as well. So this is more accurate in this 29.63 level. I used it as our support. And just in case the market, you know, people will take profit and uh, market dips a little bit. 29.63 would be a good uh, promising area for a bounce. And then it might continue to move up with this uh, slight increase in the volume. That's already as well a sign that people will, you know, most likely continue to uh, invest and uh, add volume in this stock. Uh, GT cap. GT cap. Okay. Still not ready to move up for GT cap. Um, it might continue to uh, move sideways in the coming days. And uh, just if you're interested to get in, uh, use your MA20 line as your support. It might uh, revisit and test that with move sideways before going up. Uh huh. <clears throat> Where are we? Uh, Marco, hi Miss Cutie. Good evening, Paul John. Right, Ali, please. Okay, Isa, I hope you were able to hear this. Um, all H. Good evening, Rhea Geo. Geo is a stock, right? Um, JFC, RLC, I have JFC. Oh, not yet. JFC, RLC. Nico, okay, good evening at Moyano. Uh, Lester, yes, good evening. SMPH, I hope you were able to hear that. SMPH, FLI, and MPI, okay. Hi, Miss JD, Mayad nga gab i. Ano insight nyo kay LHC? Let's find out. Yes, I'm here, Miss JD, Clarice, requesting... Oh, it was Clarice. But I know Maria also requested it. I entry, entry from 117, thanks to your guide, just waiting for the dividend before to exit. Yep, bet ko din yung video waiting on dips din po. Yes. Um, grabe, I, I... You know, because I'm working, right? So I will just have to put the price levels I want to enter at. For video, yeah. Um, a few days back, it, it captured my, my buy order, but yesterday, I was waiting for Dito to go back to 216, ba? I think around 216, it didn't capture, but today, I, I will have to check because I wanted to add more for more volume for either MPI or BDO. But let's see later. I was not able to open my port. So, you know, when I was starting, guys, I would always check my portfolio like several times in a day. But, you know, as you move forward, uh, you'll realize that you don't really have to. If you know your entry price and you know your objective, that uh, that stock, uh, you are a position trader. So, you, you know, you know, you will enter at the support area. If it dips a little bit, you have your tolerance level. And you also you should also know whether you want to be a long term. So that means you don't really have to take a look at um, these stocks by the hour or by the minute. But I'm really happy that you know um, this simple uh, initiative that we have is creating some good profit uh, on your side. I know it's not because of me. It's really because of you guys. You are the ones deciding which stock to enter at, and uh, this. Uh, meeting, no oh, meeting. It's just uh, you know allowing all of us to revisit whatever stocks that uh, might have promising setup. Yeah, 118 is good support. Nang URC, Nathaniel. Yes, nice. Yes, it's me URC. Yeah, Maria, see, I can remember. But I exited sobrang volatile. But I assume Maria, you're already profitable. So imagine that. So volatile. So that means you can take advantage of the volatility. You can enter and exit multiple times. Oh, Maria, thank you. Hi, Ed Travel Bog. I saw 
Ah, oh, very nice. Thank you, guys. She's my friend. And I think she got inspired with whatever we are doing. I don't really want to be a super big YouTuber, but uh, someday uh, I really want to uh, take this seriously and share uh, some more content with you guys. And when I'm ready, I might show my face. <laughs> I'm not ready right now. Okay, let's continue. Uh, we uh, stopped at GTCAP. Okay, next would be DITO MBT ACEPH. Okay. So this is another story. See that? Oh my goodness, yesterday I was waiting for around... Was it 2.05? Yeah, 2.05, around here. It didn't give me a chance after lunch. Anyway, nothing to worry because, guys, with the red candlestick um, today and um, this being at the resistance, so, you know, the stock moves very volatile as well. Um, it might give you a chance around 2.06 level. Um, Always uh, remember the nearer you are to the support because it can potentially move sideways first for the next few days before it takes off. However, I'm not saying that it will revisit here, but what if it goes up here? So that's your short-term resistance. And if it breaks this, uh, you know what is going to happen next, right? This is the most uh, possible movement. It moves up higher, revisits the new line. Your previous resistance will be your next support and moves up. Uh, that's how we look at it, okay? I remember um, in one of our discussion, we were talking about um, a cup and handle formation. So good job for those people that, you know, entered at this level. It's already, you know, very profitable. Good job to you guys. See that? Anyway, it's not too late. We're still at the two peso area. And uh, let's see, 2.06 for me is the, you know, I won't push push really hard. If it captures my my target entry price, then no good. If not, I'll find another stock. But overall, if you are to take a look at the potential of the stock, uh, just from the per previous performance, right, um, there's still a big reward, uh, good risk-to-reward ratio here if you're going to just look at the uh, previous performance and again if you know the fundamentals and you know I know this is speculative this would be a third telco it's not in there yet but what if by you know by the time they go live um, this stock will definitely be uh, beyond seven peso level again it's speculative because we don't see it in action yet it's not tangible yet Anything can happen when it's in the building phase or the design phase. So that's why people are still um, extra careful. And in the same manner, my, my uh, recommendation is also just remind yourself, why are you getting in this talk? If you're in it as a trader, then take profit at certain areas. If you're in it for long-term investing, take advantage of the dips. MBT. MBT, okay, finally MBT. <laughs> there was a, an impact there in their revenue, a decline by 8.93%. All right, but this is a good sign, guys. There is a, a jump in the price here, so it might create another lift in the price in the coming days, similar to this, right? When it moves up first time, then it would be followed by next green or next red so i'm, I'm also thinking that uh, it will also do the same here you might have some more uh, green actions in the coming days and the nearest resistance i see at the moment would be 41.89 uh, it, it might uh, have some uh, of course struggles there and uh, with enough volume uh, nothing's impossible it could also break your resistance ACEPH. Okay, signs of weakness. For the past three days, so I'd like us to uh, go back. No, I don't. I didn't mean to say that. 
I didn't I don't like it to go back but uh, based on what we see here we will most likely uh, retrace the stock will rest around the 2.12 area okay so that's um, when you can haggle at a much lower price okay Oh, Maria. Yes, I took profit with URC. Nice profit too. Amazing. I love it. I love this story. Congrats, Miss Maria. Uh, thanks, Nathaniel. Guys, Miss JD Review helps you, me, somehow confirm my daily decision entry. So all the thanks to Miss JD Daily Review. Yes, um, I'm just your second voice. But ultimately, I empower you to do your own research. Study it. And don't make my decision influence yours. It's just my, my insights would just validate yours. So it's really your decision. You took the action. You should take the credit and, um, you know, rinse and re rinse and repeat. Do it consistently, okay? And, uh, of course, what we're doing here, consistency, is the key and if we study every night then we will be better someday I am excited to look back into these videos years from now so it's on the records whatever we're discussing today okay so 2.12 would be then an area where it could potentially bounce for a CPH ICT ICT um, two things here, right? This could be, number one, this kind of candlestick is a bearish candlestick. However, I feel that it has broken a short-term resistance and it's just going to establish a brand new support in this range. So while it's true that this could be a bearish signal, it might move sideways here and Accumulate and boom, increase in price. Okay, so that's the thing that I see at the moment. Uh, but of course, be extra careful because if it drops, at least you, st you still have your uh, MA20 line as your next uh, basis, which is not that far from where it is at right now. It is, this is actually what I also... But between this going back here, I think the chances are really low. Uh, I, I look at it at, at the, I look at this area as a possible uh, area of uh, you know re-establishing a brand new support. We broke that resistance already. And look at this, 24.33 million uh, in foreign buying today. SSI. SSI. Let's see. So there's a gap up. Good job. I, I bet you guys. So it might revisit because there was a gap up that happened. So it might revisit your MA20 line here. Um, but we can, who knows, we can have a very long candlestick. And then just one day it will revisit that and move up again. But um, I feel that uh, this is their support. And could also create a support in this level because there's your MA20 line. Okay, and uh, the reason for that is this for the past one, two, three, four. Uh, this used to be your support area and this used to be your resistance. So it broke that, created a brand new support, slight overshoot. Um, technically, this is still just part of your, you know, sideways movement. <clears throat> but 1.26 would be the nearest area where it could possibly bounce and it'll go back there for SSI. And ICT, yeah, we're done with ICT, I believe. Oh, yeah, we're done with ICT. So next would be Wilcon. Nice bounce, Wilcon. Good job. It's an engulfing candlestick. You have also 6.9 million in uh, foreign buying. 
so people might be accumulating now okay see this this used to be a resistance as well see that so this now becomes your new support so i feel that we will have more actions to the upside start uh, putting this in your watch list we're actually too late guys um there was already a you know movement here but you know we in the stock market you're no one has ever you know um well in some occasions you can if you're doing this every day we get to see a lot of stocks but in, in most cases uh seldom will you be able to catch it at the very very bottom you can be slightly you know two or three days late and we're actually a few weeks late so it's creating that brand new um brand new uh support here so it broke that resistance okay so this is the second wave now right 13.97 atn atn i think is also manifesting good lines here right starting to trigger the upper uh, bollinger band and i feel that we will have more actions to the upside as well this is your support for atn that's your new support okay because previously in the past how many days it was just trying to break that and it uh, finally it managed to break this price level and uh, one full candlestick outside of the support is uh, a good confirmation and i feel it is a confirmation at the moment more actions to the upside uh, wait because it might do this and might even drop here and move higher okay so put this again um 510 uh it's not for for atn uh a 510 uh trades for any given day is already significant volume and normally it doesn't have that much it only has around 100 around that or even less okay and uh tell okay tell unstoppable tell and where is the next resistance now we are sitting at the you know um, a resistance as well so the next one would be around this range yeah that's the next resistance that we see look at this some consolidation that happened here um bouncing each time until such time it broke that you also created a resistance resistance and uh, we're starting we're approaching that level and uh, let's observe if we, if we are also going to experience some more rejections there um, but pldt is also for long term so look at this from where it was before it actually dropped significantly and uh, allowed everyone to enter at a much cheaper price okay see that but i don't think it will you know this price level will uh, be achieved anytime soon uh i'm thinking yep around 2000 level would not be impossible in the coming uh, months but <clears throat> for the short term 1366 is the next area of resistance Oh, this is done see this oh it's annual we're uh, looking forward to see their uh, q1 performance Morocco Morocco okay I don't like this formation Tr triggering the lower I mean the ma20 line uh, but it's very near uh, this is the uh, support that I see at the moment but um, just in case it breaks this so it might drop up to this level again so just be extra careful that's um, the line that we see at the moment your support it's trying to establish that we managed to move here though so what I'm thinking is it is just going to create a brand new support in this level so I might be wrong just go ahead and um, Remind yourself, why are you getting in the stock? If you're getting in for trading, then cut loss early. If not, if it dips further down, rejoice because it's giving you a, um, um, an opportunity at a much lower price. 
uh, where you can accum accumulate more volume. Okay, so 199 would be the next uh, support. It will create a double bottom uh, come that day. And uh, also observe what happens uh, when this creates a double bottom if you're also uh, on, a, on a good uh, formation for your RSI. If this is forming to the upside, meaning moving upwards here, then uh, that's a good sign. Okay, but take note of the two areas for now because I, we're not 100% sure if this will be sustained. We're just preparing for a possible drop in case this gets broken and it will reach 199. AC. Okay, all right. AC. Hmm. Huh. It might. Um, I don't feel good with the two candlesticks here. So it might go back in this level. So this is a bearish candlestick, another uh, red candlestick today that uh, is confirming a possible weakness right in that area. So I'd like to see it um, revisiting. No, I don't like, but it might revisit uh, 548, 548 level um, for your support area. It might do that before it continues to rally uh, to the upside. Okay, that's ACSPC. Hold on, let me just check out our U.S. market. Who among you guys are trading the U.S. market as well? SPC is... Okay, uh, but there's only 32 trades. Not much volume. So let's still uh, use this as um, your support level because we found uh, accumulation here. So and uh, you are also sitting at the uh, you know uh, MA20 when you're moving below MA20. Remember that an MA20 can act as a resistance. So uh, let's see if people will take profit and revisit this area. Uh, you can also do something like this. Right, so that's your uh, descending triangle. If price starts much higher than 7.98 and moves to the, uh, you know, moves higher, then it, we might have a breakout play there. Uh, but if it revisits this line, wait for it and this level 7.77 before you enter. Okay. BDO, we're done with this. Tugs. Tugs still doing sideways, so it might go back here. Not much of a uh, movement in today's market. No volume, so people might, be, you know, continue to um, take profit, and uh, it might test the 0.84 area again as your support level. You're still at a very cheap level, guys. Look at this. So if you feel that there will be promising uh, projects as we go back to the you know new normal, let's see if it will uh, rally to the upside. Overall, you're at a very cheap level. If you're in it as a long-term investor, you're at a very cheap level for this particular stock. Now, let's see what's happening with now. Okay, so I find this is a bearish candlestick, guys. Um, and we also had a gap up so it might revisit that area and uh, might go back to uh, this level okay so that's the range I see right now you can do range trading if you like but it will fill this gap potentially there's a significant increase so that's also something you need to watch out for uh, just use the 1.92 as your marker or a decision maker guide if price starts higher than that then that would mean you know it might create a breakout play and uh, establish a new high and uh, 
this being a new support. Okay, but for now, I feel that it will first fill this gap that it created right here. Geo. Geo, not very um, familiar with Geo. I don't think we have a Geo, right? Or Glow. I think it's. Globe. Okay. Globe is the sign of weakness. Just observe what happens around your MA20 area, guys, because if this gets broken, um, the next drop would be around this area. Okay. Previous support here, previous resistance, also had some consolidation here, and at the same time, this is your MA20. So it might, okay, might create a new uh, support in this range. If that gets broken, it might go down to 2,084 level. And besides, there has been a significant increase in the past few weeks. And, uh, you know, sometimes a stock would go like this. Significant increase, sideways, and then down. When it goes down, I... Sometimes it's also going to drastically go down, but I hope that's not the case for this. Uh, we've established two lines as an area to observe. And uh, we'll try and see. Continue to join the, the daily study group and let's find out and always request this so we can also revisit the progress. Uh, so this is low. Uh, JFC, okay, we also have a position here. Okay, um, <clears throat> JFC is just uh, gaining some momentum. I feel it's just gaining that momentum. And only um, in a matter of days, I feel that that line will be broken. But in the meantime, use this area as you know we you can do range if you're trading it just do range trading for now in this level and in this level because if you are to also draw a darvas box um, you can use this as your decision uh, making guide this there you go enter here exit here and we'll give you how much a 14 percent profit but I feel it will revisit your 132 area before it takes off. I don't think it will um, drop lower than MA20. Uh, I, I hope. But so far, that's <clears throat> that's the sentiment that I have for JFC. Okay, Nathaniel said, can't agree more, Ms. JD. We have to create our own bias, mastery over profit. Yes, it's a skill. You don't have to uh, enter uh, big amounts. You can do manageable positions for now. What's important is, you know, are your trades um, going according to your bias, according to your analysis? Do that over and over again. What's your accuracy rate? So if your accuracy rate is getting higher and higher each time, then you can also uh, start trusting yourself that you're doing it right. And then you increase the volume, increase the amount you're investing in trading. Okay, so that's the thought process there. And uh, ROC. ROC. Oops, it's taking a little while. Okay, ROC is just moving sideways. No significant action as of yet, but I think we're just sitting right at the uh, support level. And uh, if this is not broken, then good. If we have a green candlestick to confirm that bound, then you can enter for ROC. Uh, Nickel. Nickel also just sitting right at the support level. We're just at the MA20 line 
and you all know uh, I use MA20 as a support when we start to move higher than that and I use that as a resistance when uh, the price action is happening below it but right now I think we will just continue moving sideways for nickel before it uh, takes off look at that it's also in a constricted Bollinger Band at the moment and it's just waiting for that right volume to uh, push the price higher FLI FLI? Uh huh. Yeah, I use MA20 as well, sideways. Okay, so these stocks, so those stocks that you see moving sideways, those stocks are the ones you should start observing and start putting in your watch list. Don't focus too much on stocks that are already rallying to the upside because, for all you know, you're already uh, being a victim of a FOMO. M MPI. Okay, this is uh, also a stock of mine. Uh, 257 starting to manifest uh, an upward movement, but still very, very minimal action right there. There's an increase in the volume, but not that significant. Um, I'd like to plot this as the area of support still to 50 level, but I see it uh, starting to move uh, much higher now. Okay. There's a slight gap up that happened, so it's not impossible for this stock to re revisit your 250 level again. All HC. Okay, oh, nice. All HC. Uh, there, this is a hammer. Created a uh, support in this range. So, used to be resistance here right and i'm thinking with a green candlestick form today um this is now your new uh support previously if i'm not mistaken if i create if i analyze this yesterday uh this is this could have been my perspective it will go back to an ma20 line but with a green candlestick that happened today then the story is different this now becomes your support because that validated this kind of candlestick um, now established a uh, you know uh, change in direction. Okay, what is next? Good evening, ma'am. Oh, Marky wants IDC. Yeah, sure. Let me take a look if I was not able to check that. Okay. Um, Marky. Good evening, ma'am. STI, TBGI, and ICT. And this is for Paul. Uh, TVGI and ICT uh, go online on Sundays. Yeah, I, I always try my best to create a content during weekends um, so that we can have more um, content to also upload in our channel. I really want to grow this channel, guys. If you can help me share this to your friends, uh, that would be good. So our community will also grow and it'll be, you know, it'll be fun. To study every night and if you haven't liked our um, our video tonight uh, please do like it will help uh, also market our video to a bigger population because YouTube likes it when a lot of people likes the video uh, because it feels that there's sense to whatever is the content Uh, IDC. Okay, IDC is revisiting a, a, a new support level, looks like. Yeah, so this is your new support. This used to be a resistance, and for several days, we're just moving within this range. So I'm thinking it will just move within that range and take off. Look at that. So I think most of the stocks are already starting to uh, uh, look attractive. Uh, but don't expect uh, an overnight success. It will go sideways first before it goes up. 2.09 is our next support. STI. STI, yes, you're just moving within the support level. Excuse me. Okay. 0.3388, that's a support area. You don't have much volume, but... I don't think it'll go any uh, further down because you're already at the oversold. Look at that. 
And while you're doing sideways, your RSI is already climbing up. That means the momentum is building and uh, we might see progress in, in the coming days. TBGI. <clears throat> this is a bounce for TBGI, guys. This is your support here. Created that, that new support and it was also validated in today's uh, performance. So, yeah, I still plot this area as a support because well, who knows, right? People would take profit and give you a chance at the 0.18 area and then starts take off. ICT. Okay, we already created that and we feel that this stock has... Uh, somehow created a brand new support because we have one full candlestick um, that went outside of our uh, ascending triangle, right? And then there's also volume and uh, foreign buying. Uh, so this is what we see. Even though this is kind of, you know, bearish candlestick, I'm thinking it's just bearish because it will go down. And um, when it goes down, I don't think it will go lower than the 86.87 area. That's my thought. Okay, and it might even go sideways first before it goes up again. All right. Uh, hmm. Good evening, Mr. D. Joined late, but wondering if done with MBTCHP and CNPF. Well, I was able to review MBT, but I can check CHP and CNPF. Uh, what is a telegram group, Ms. JD? Or create a telegram group. What's that? Where can I find that? <laughs> so if you can uh, share, then that would be great. I'll try to also take a look at that. I have, so CHP. Okay, CHP, let's take a look at that. <clears throat> okay, so if you guys still have the time, I actually, you know, I want to take a rest day tomorrow. It's a holiday, so we might we can extend a little bit and take a look at uh, probably a U.S. market if you guys are also looking at the U.S. market right now. So we have CHP, right? CHP, guys, is going to most likely revisit your MA20 line here. Okay. Use MA20, but with the red candlestick form today, I feel that it will go down and revisit that area. And if you're interested to get in, uh, that would be an area to consider. C and PH. What is C and PH? Robert, what is C and PH? Could we know the meaning of value and market cap? Okay. All right, I can help you find that. Um, but I know there will be, um, they have more advanced calculations of uh, market capitalization. Overall, in my understanding, uh, market cap is really the overall uh, value of, uh, of uh, an organization or for a company. But let's check out Investopedia. But market capitalization meaning I go to this. Cheers. Yeah. But I, we can um, deep dive into this uh, further. Um, another good topic to also consider. Uh, market capitalization refers to the total dollar market value of a company's outstanding shares of stock, commonly referred to as a market cap. It is calculated by multiplying the number of companies' outstanding shares by the current market price of one share. So there's a math to it. So maybe I can deep dive and uh, read through this and uh, create a content in uh, more in simplified manner in layman's term. Okay, what is CNPH? Oh, CNPF, sorry, my bad. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. Oh, there's foreign buying. 3.44. So I feel that because there's foreign buying, uh, I feel that it might, okay, it might respect your MA20 line here. Let's observe, guys, and uh, find out if uh, this will respect your MA20. There was some stabilization that happened right here. Okay, created a support here, but it's just that there was price breakdown that happened and uh, for several days here as well and it might just go back to that level very near but be extra careful guys because if uh, there's not much volume but you know what there was a significant spike in the volume here huh? and when it dipped the volume is not that much so people are still holding on to their shares do you see that because sometimes um, what we don't like is something like this. There's a spike in volume, but the next day the, the red is so, you know, it's um, a significant decrease or significant increase in the, the volume when it dipped the following day. You don't like that, but here... Uh, while it's red, it's not that much volume. Okay, so maybe it's just trying to stabilize there. And the pugon gamit niyo sa US market, Itoro. Yeah, I am in Itoro, and uh, I try my best to trade, but not super consistent. I I still have positions. I have uh, right now GE, Net. What is this? You want to see that it's blocking me. Hold on. Ah. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Trading view. Chart. Okay, so I'm I entered yesterday, entered at GE, GE and Net. Let's find out how did they perform today. GE. Okay, nice lift in the price. Let me see. So, so this is where we entered at around, let me just go check my eToro account. Uh -huh. We entered at 6.63. 6.63. Okay. But I think this is just in the accumulation stage. So actually, this is the ideal side, and I didn't want to wait anymore. This is the ideal uh, support, but we entered at 6.63. When did I enter? Yesterday. Yeah. Okay, because I thought it'll create a brand new support here. There. I thought this was. This was my uh, <clears throat> bias yesterday. Okay, but it's still within, uh, you know, I entered uh, $100 there and, uh, you know, still a small size. And we're down by 0.60 cents. And it's just tolerable. I hope it moves up in the coming days. Uh, there's also another one, net. And we entered at... Uh, we entered at 2364. 
around that range and we're already up by 1.86 1 peso oh, 1 peso 1 dollar and 86 cents we also entered another 100 dollar there so see i don't trade that much volume it's just 100 100 100 each time and it's again i'd like to echo what one of you guys mentioned it's really the execution of your plan it's not about the volume it's just being accurate it's the main goal that we have right now be accurate in our trades thank you ma'am you are a blessing thank you as well so guys if you don't have any requests uh, in the U in the u.s market or in the philippine market i think um, this has been another productive night for all of us continue to study okay um and uh only use the insights that are making sense the others that you think are are not making sense don't use that in your trades okay uh, at the end of the day it is you who will make your decision and uh, it's just nice that you have a community in us here uh, in miss jd we are trying to establish that community people who think alike who have the same passion can go here and watch the video every night and we can discuss about the stock market i might be exploring uh, other topics as well IDC, <laughs> up yard. Yeah, IDC, we talked about it and then we said that the support area is around 2.09. It's just uh, revisiting that area. I think it's just doing sideways before it takes off. Um, the reason why we said that is because of this. Okay, we'll just be uh, moving sideways first. Um, Gain some momentum there and then move up. Okay. All right, guys. I think this is it. Good night. And uh, yeah, hopefully, I can do live again. Let's have another topic tomorrow. Um, this is already good for stock market insights. And uh, I'll uh, revisit some of your questions and uh, create content out of it. If you have not liked it, the video yet, please do like and subscribe as well if you have not subscribed okay thank you guys and good night bye bye